European junction solar cells use a semiconductor such as silicon. The atomic scale structure of silicon is shown here. The silicon is a quadrivalent element. It has four valence electron on its outermost orbit. Each valence electron of a silicon atom is connected with another valence electron of another silicon atom to forming a covalent bond. Impurity atoms is added to the silicon to increase its conductivity. This process is called doping. Doping is done by adding them to valent elements such as phosphorus. This creates extra electrons. This is called n-type semiconductor. Also by adding dry valent elements such as boron. This creates holes. This is called p-type semiconductor. When a p-type and n-type semiconductor come together they form a p-n junction. Electrons can wander across the junction. Leaving behind static positive charges on atoms in the solid, on the other side, they join up with holes causing both to disappear. Near the p-n junction is called the depletion zone. Where there are no charge carriers anymore, the separated static positive and negative charges mean there is an electric field across the depletion zone. When energy from light is absorbed by the semiconductor, it will dislodge an electron, creating an extra mobile electron and an extra mobile hole. The electric field makes the electron flow to the n-type material. This is known as photogenerating charge carriers, and occurs through the n-type and p-type semiconductors. The resulting separation of positive and negative charge across the junction is called a potential difference, or voltage. By connecting external circuit to the solar cell, electrons travel through the circuit to recombine with holes. By this electric current produced, 